Hi, my name is Gabby Sultana and I'm a pianist. I specialize in contemporary repertoire, that means works that are composed around, from around 1945 to the present day, but I'm also very drawn to experimental electronics and electronic music. Authenticity, nature, and probably just surprising concerts or surprising sets. Um, anything that excites me in music or anything that just surprises me, I don't know, I'm immediately drawn to it. I'll start first with classical music, let's say, and um, I think my favorite composers would have to be um, Debussy and Ravel, all the way to Bartok and Ligeti to Stockhausen and Boulez, uh, to Cage and Crumb and uh, Reich. Um, composers nowadays, I adore Kate Moore, Missy Mazzoli and Benjamin Van Esser, to just mention a few. Um, if I move more electronic, let's say, then uh, I think my favorite artists include um, Oteker, Aphex Twin, uh, Hildur Gudnadotter, um, uh, empty set, um, Boren und der Club of Gore. There are way too many to actually mention. Um, I also really like then, on the other hand, a bit more popular music. So in that sense, uh, the golden oldies, let's say. So I really like uh, the Beatles, uh, the Doors, Led Zeppelin, um, but uh, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen. Um, and then a little bit more recent, uh, Bjork and Radiohead. Um, I mean, my list is absolutely endless. I have two favorite sounds. My first favorite sound is the sea. Um, it may sound really cheesy, but uh, I think uh, coming from Malta really makes you close to the sea or to the sound of the sea. And I left Malta 19 years ago, and it's still the part of nature that I'm closest to. Um, I absolutely adore the sound of the sea. But my second favorite sound is crickets at night. And the reason for this is because when you hear crickets at night, you automatically feel like you're on holiday, or I feel like I'm on holiday. Um, it gives me this feeling of nostalgia um, for my childhood. Um, we used to hear the sound that was just part of our uh, part of our being in a way, and I never knew what it was. So whenever I asked, I was always like, "But what is this sound, and where does it come from?" And in the end, it just turned out to be crickets. <laughs> Well, I've just finished recording um, a concert for Teatro Manuel, and that was a tribute to George Crumb. Um, I recorded his latest work, Metamorphosis, and um, something different about this project was that due to the COVID-19 situation, um, I had to record everything myself. So I was the audio engineer, the cameraman, the post-production team, and on top of that, the pianist. So yeah, it was a pretty different experience and I'm happy I did it. And I think I can do it again. <laughs> so my next project will be to record uh, John Cage's sonatas and interludes for prepared piano. Apart from that, I have a couple of collaborations, but for that you're gonna have to wait and I will um, reveal a little bit more information uh, in the coming weeks. So at the age of five, when I started piano lessons, I used to escape from my piano lessons. And my mom ended up having to wait for me for an hour every week behind the door. And unless I saw her red Fiat Panda <laughs> outside the door of my piano teacher studio, I would just walk out. I was five. Uh, take care, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.